What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 Regulation D video. Apologies, I'm late on this one. It was my birthday weekend, I was recovering yesterday and I didn't feel like uploading, uh, you know, during my party. We got Brady with us today. How are we doing? What's good? Uh, we're looking at Regulation D stuff. Yeah. Because it's, it's fun. Yeah, and also this is the first major tournament of Reg D. We've had a bunch of smaller tournaments um pop up like in the community but this is the vr road to yokohama tournament basically yeah. it's just like we have no regionals until worlds so this is like our world's preview we have one month until the event isn't that insane yeah it's it's crazy it's like the the Pokemon company is like slacking majorly for people who want to like practice for this new format that is only at worlds um so you know we're picking everyone else around like in the grassroots scene picking up the slack yeah so we're, we're gonna be going over the results of this tournament um there are some pretty interesting things you might look at this like top eight and be like oh it's all pow knight heatran stuff but unimpressed see, yeah like you might be unimpressed but there's some like the the thing about pokemon is there's a lot of like small adjustments you can make to your team to uh make it more positive in other uh metagame archetypes and what one was actually really, really interesting, and I want to explain that. So uh, we'll talk about that first, then we'll talk about major trends in the metagame. Brady's a little bit out of the loop, so he's mostly just here to make me want to record. Um, and yeah, <laughs> hey, let's uh, go ahead and get into this. If you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, uh, and comment down below uh, what Pokemon you think is going to pick up after this tournament. I can tell you, Ursaluna, the stocks are up. People, people heeded my warning. <laughs> They're playing in a little bit different. Um, and yeah, also Brady is our new second editor. Actually, we have three now. We have a shorts editor and we have two long video editors. So we're going to be trying to doing I, uh, two big videos each week. So, you know, Brady's also just won't. a long time channel friend. Yeah. So. All right. Let's get enjoy. into it. So first of all, shout out Brazil. Uh, this tournament was won by, I'm going to try not to uh, butcher the name, but uh, Thiago Latanzi. I don't know how to pronounce That's it. Right. Correct. That sounds um, right. Yeah. But this team, Brady, right? It's fairly standard until we get to the crest. So I'm gonna, we're just gonna ignore the crest set for a second. We see like the standard water, fire, grass core, except there's no real fire type on here. But you know what I mean? Like it's a uh, Rillaboom, yeah, yeah, Urshifu, yeah. and then like hyper offense stuff. Usually you see they, like a, a heat trend on here, but. Um, yeah, they traded, they traded a heat trend for tornado, so. Yeah, I would actually argue that on this team, you could you could say the heat trend trade was Cresselia because Cresselia and heat trend together work, right? You usually see them together. But like mm -hmm. with Cress on its own and no Trick Room, you can sort of sub it in for the bulky offensive Pokemon. And that's going to sound weird. They're running an offensive Cresselia, but also a defensive one. We'll talk about that in a sec. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Urshifu, Rillaboom, Tornadus, like that core has been just going super strong into the metagame. You can see it's everywhere in these tournament results. Um, yep. But what matters here is that last Pokemon. Also Rocky Helmet, Tornadus, you know, we already know that's good. Um, what matters here is the final Pokemon. Cresselia was running Leftovers, standard, right? Terra Ghost, yep. which I had to scratch my head about that one for a minute. I was like, what is that for? You're weak to Fluttermain still. You're still weak to Urshifu Single Strike. Chen Pao with Throat Chop beats you now. Uh, you, you, well, I guess it did before, but you know what I mean? Like, typically they're Terra Fairy. Um, it isn't like a defensive one. Yeah. Like, in the way that you would normally run defensive press. Yeah, it's it's defensive, but it's, like, defensive in one very specific way. And I had, like, a, a Eureka moment, you know, <laughs> all at once uh, when I figured it out. But it's running Calm Mind, Moonlight, not Lunar Blessing, because the team itself isn't terribly bulky. It's kind of HO. Uh, yeah. Dazzling Gleam and Stored Power. That is very specifically hilarious. Um, Basically... What I figured out, I didn't watch a lot of the tournament matches because, you know, people stream separately and stuff, and I, I was busy on my birthday weekend, but I figured it out in post. Yeah. If you run Terra Ghost Cresselia, the Pokemon that people were banking on winning this whole event, uh, that we actually see a lot in the top uh, few teams, you know, there are two in top four, yeah. Ursaluna. You sit in on Ursaluna Iron Hands Cresselia. It does not do anything to you because most Ursaluna are actually running like Ice Punch as their coverage right now. They have Facade, Earthquake, Ice Punch, Protect. Uh, sometimes right. they'll run Crunch. I believe this one might have been Crunch. No, it was double ground move and, and, and Facade, right? You always have Facade. 
So with Terra Ghost, because you're Levitate, you wall Cresselia and Ursaluna, allowing you to go for Calm Mind boosts using Moonlight for more reliable recovery than you would with a Lunar Blessing because you have 50 instead of 25. And then Dazzling Gleam is just like a nice little spread move. It hits pretty hard after a few Calm Mind boosts, which, you know, bulky Cresselia with Leftovers is going to be able to do. But the final one, Stored Power, your main stab move, it's 20 base power plus 20 for each one of the user stat boost. It's very easy for Crest to get off like one Calm Mind, right? It's yeah. not hard to do that. So after it's one already Calm Mind, damage. Yeah, after one yeah, Calm yeah. Mind, not only do you get bulkier, but you hit harder and stored power goes up to 60 base power. After two Calm Minds, you are up to 80 base power. After yep. three Calm Minds, oh boy, you're up to oh, wow. 120 base power. And that's at yeah. plus three special attack with stab. So let's let's do the, the two combines. Effectively, at two combines, you're hitting everything for a super effective 120 base power move after you account for stab. So while it doesn't hit the hardest off of 75 base special attack, in this specific matchup, right, it's basically free. You just exploited everything. Yeah, like, like they don't touch you. And then you just set up and win. And like when they finally get around to hitting you, what are they going to do about it? Like, the only thing that beats you is Urshifu single strike after a few setups because even Fluttermane can't, like, you know, crack the Cresselia at that point. Yeah, um, I mean, you have so much special defense boost, but, like, you're bulky enough. And, like, even discounting, like, the the Urshifu, not Urshifu, um, Ursaluna and, um, Ursaluna and Cresselia, like, matchup. If you do it... Like, most of the time, you're able to just do this, like, pretty freely as a Cresselia, because most of the time, things aren't ergoing you. Like, unless you're facing down, like, a Chiyu or a Chien Pao or mm -hmm. a Jingle Strike Urshifu, um, you're just going to be able to get uh, get off damage. Like, uh, Flutter Mane is not going to be ergoing you. You're able to get, a, get, like, a pretty decent, like, you know, Calm Mind off. And if you have, like, some form of speed control or, like, some way to get rid of full domain off the board to the point where, like, you're safe, you can just click Stored Power. Like Yeah, and they have, like, so many anti flutter Mane mods. Rillaboom, I would argue, is one of the best anti flutter Mane mods right behind, like, Heatran mm. because it yeah. doesn't... Because Rillaboom's, like, bulky. It always runs, like, AV, and you can just smack it with Wood Hammer or Drum Beating, and it goes down. You know, yeah. you also have, like, Chen Pao uh, and Urshu Rapid Strike, which Aqua Jet Sucker Punch will KO. Like, it's just, yeah. you have so many, like, options into the one thing that could immediately threaten you that, like, it's it's not really an issue. And there are a few single strike or shifu in this top cut, right? But it's it's mostly rapid strike. They don't do anything to you. But, yeah, it's just, it's really, really solid. Um, honestly, like, yeah, that's all I want to say about this team. Like, it, it, it performed well, obviously. You know, the guy walked away with $1,300 in his pocket for using a setup stored power Cresselia. I just think that's really cool. That's what we're talking about when I said, like, you know, you can make these small adjustments where it's like, oh, you know, my team might not do the best into uh, Ursa Luna Cresselia because of like how volatile that matchup is. You know, one trick room uh, at the wrong time and you just lose in a lot of games. And this this yeah. thing is just like, bam, it's like that uh, the flex seal guy, right? It's Cresselia yeah. patching up the hole in the team. It's like, we're done. Uh, speaking of Cresselia, okay. I, I would say this is the Cresselia tournament, really. I th all three top, all top three teams had Cresselia, but they were all pretty different. Yeah. This one, once again, um, you know, we see Cresselia on sort of a standard core team. This one's more Trick Room oriented. You see, we have like yeah. four Trick Room mons here. You have Heatran Crest, like I was talking about. Um, mm -hmm. But what I found really interesting about this one is this is one of the few times I'll praise an ally switch call. Um, I don't like ally switch as a move. I think it's kind of dumb. I think that it should be yeah. the same priority as like, I don't even think it should have positive priority. I think that would fix everything. Yeah. They nerfed it. Now, now it can fail. But, like, even then, like, I don't like... All right, so you know how, like, sometimes you'll... You, you know how, like, sometimes you'll be like, oh, I, I want to call, like, the move, but then it fails, and it's like, it doesn't matter that you called it? I feel like that's yeah. the case with, like, ally switch. Yes, you don't want to click it twice, because it might fail, and, like, your opponent is probably bad for clicking it twice. But if you're calling them clicking it twice, and you get the call right, but it fails anyway, like, that just feels bad. Anyways, yeah. that's, that's my rant. Rocky Helmet Cresselia plus ally switch it, i actually think is kind of neat rocky yeah. helmet's like a good item on crust right it does positive into a bunch of things um but mm. specifically into the earth for rapid strike let's say you have like an earth luna on your side of the field and a Cresselia. Ally switch. yeah you can just ally switch right there there's a 50 50 with are they going to trick room and 
uh, attack, or are they going to ally switch and attack? And I do think that like ally switch plus Ursaluna is arguably one of the best ally switch use cases we have right now. You want to make sure it doesn't get, you know, annihilated through the protect because it can do that because it can do that in this game. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, beyond that, it's a fairly standard uh, bulky uh, balance team, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Good. But yeah, no, the ne next team is fairly similar, except uh, you've replaced Heatran. The uh, first two teams had a baby. With a Mungus. <laughs> the first two teams had a baby, bro. <laughs> this is the, the third team. Um, yeah, Sergio. Um, wait, was it Sergio Ramirez? I don't want to get that right. Yeah, Sergio Ramirez. Yeah. Uh, looks, uh, this one's not, you know, super special. It's basically exactly what we saw with the other team, but, um, oh, Amoongus instead. Uh, there's no yeah. Rocky Helmet on this team. I'm just realizing that. Maybe, maybe you don't need the Rocky Helmet. I, 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 think, I, I, I did a whole Rocky video. Helmet, I think, I think, I think Rocky Helmet is very, like, valuable. You need that. Yeah, for, like, but first teams. if you can get away without it, like, obviously, you know, this person did fine. Their, their Tornadus, where that tends to run Rocky Helmet in a lot of teams, is Covert Cloak instead. Making it more reliable next to like Choice Cover or Rapid Strike, which is obviously very good. I just figured it'd be on the Amoongus or something, but yeah, no, this team, you know, pretty, pretty good. I don't want to, not, not much to say about that one. Um, yeah. we're, now we're just going to sort of highlight the more interesting teams. We do see Pow Knight. I find it, I really, like my bet for this tournament was that Pow Knight was going to win the whole thing. Um, mm -hmm. But the closest it got was that uh, top four. So, no, I, I don't have too much to say about that. Dragapult plus Chen Pao is still very solid. Um, mm -hmm. We can see that this team ran like the the Tang combo, the Focus Ash plus Choice Band. This one's actually yep. Terra Ghost Terra Blast instead of uh, Terra Steel Terra Blast, and I, I do think that's mm -hmm. a decent call. Terra Steel, you know, it's resisted by a lot of fighting types in this format. Um, we have a ton of good fighting types right now, despite the fact that Fluttermane's probably one of the best Pokemon in the game. Uh, yeah. But yeah, you can see that they, their anti tricker matchup is Farigaraf. It's also their Rocky Helmet user, and it's super physically bulky. Uh, because of that high HP stat, so I do think that Farigraf is like a really nice call in this metagame. Um, it's also ah. good for, you know, like we mentioned before, you got a Flutter Man on the team, you don't get Sucker Punch and Aqua Jet. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's really good. Because, yeah, no, no, because no, that's the way that you would reliably beat Flutter Man with, um, you know, Chen Pao plus, uh, actually, Chen Pao Dragonite. This is actually, this is probably more specifically for Chen Pao Dragonite, now that I think about it. Um, I mean, yeah, that's true. But... Yeah, just shutting that down entirely is, like, really nice. Iron Hands is obviously, like, good in a Trick Room mode. You know, Fake Out plus uh, Trick Room, and then Iron Hands goes off. You also have the Heat Tram for that. Uh, Drag Bolt with Choice Band. You know, U-Turn is going to allow it to pivot in and out. Uh, fairly good team. And also, I believe that's the first Pixie Plate we've seen in a top cut. I actually don't... Did we miss a Pixie Plate earlier? Uh, I don't think so. I've seen like a bunch of teams with Pixie Plate, but like in terms of performance, I haven't seen. Like, I, I might be like, uh, we might be dumb right now and like completely forgetting one, but I actually haven't seen one in in a top cut yet. Um, Pixie Plate, what it's I mean, good, is right? Pretty good. It's like, just that it's just that the booster energy feels a little bit stronger because it's you know thirty percent instead of that twenty. Um, yeah. Even even if it's like a consumable, but yeah, I, it's I, a one time. Yeah, but Pixie Plate obviously still very good. Um, I just like Booster because it lets you run a little bit more bulk on it and pick up the same KOs. Um, yeah, yeah. Just more Poundite stuff. I think the next big thing I want to cover is that Dondoza refuses to die. This Don is... Dondoza is sticking around. I love yeah. With his buddy, <laughs> it's... With his, with his buddy Glamora, you know. Yeah, it's the exact same Reg C archetype, but instead of Chen Pao, you just put on Urshifu Dark. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, it works still um and obviously you know urshifu, urshifu dark with choice band terror dark is one of the strongest attackers in the current metagame it yeah. one shots basically everything um and i really think that if we didn't have like adaptability on demand with terra dark they wouldn't have actually nerfed wicked blow i think this was like the catalyst for it mm. yeah, yeah but this is actually just a fairly standard reg c team with a urshifu slapped onto it instead of um three choice items as well yeah I, no that's the thing with don dozo you can afford to run three choice items because the don dozo play style with like glamour and stuff it's literally just like ko the don dozo check at all costs and then send in the boy you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, wait i just had a cool idea for glamour you could probably run like uh rocky helmet glim that'd be kind of funny like yeah with like terra grass i like that too i think sash is solid in like most teams and av is still really good but i do think we have seen some rocky helmet on showdown um as far as usage usage goes but i'm actually not certain let me check that hold on yeah um, i'm i'm so interested in that actually now 
Now that I think about it, I'm like, uh, it's good. not it's not terribly common, but you do see it. AV is probably the most like used, apart from like Fergus, like Fergus session AV. Yeah. Um, see one lander in top cut. That's interesting. We yeah. Haven't, we haven't. We've yet to see any like lander usage like come up at, like at all. Even Lando so I. This is supposed to be its format. Lander I. Yeah, exactly. Like Lander I. Like like go crazy with with uh Sansa. And like Chin Sansa. and Chi Yu and stuff and just like all the hyper offense tools. But yeah, it, it's just not performing. But I'm I'm gonna take a bet. I haven't looked at this team yet. I'm gonna say Terra Flying Swords Dance Terra Blast. Yeah, that's probably it. With screens and stuff, I'm gonna say, yeah. Like, Iron Hands enables it, that's my guess. Yeah. Uh, ooh, Choice Scarf, I was wrong, but it is Terra Flying. Oh. Um, yeah. Terra Flying's good, obviously, you know. It's a bulky enough Pokemon that you can take, like, a Mystic Water Surging Strikes, no issue, if you uh, harass less in the Flying type, and then you one-shot back with Terra Blast. Scarf yeah. Lander, oh, just, it always exists, but I didn't think it yeah. exists in this format, to be honest. Yeah, normally it's clicking like a quick next to a flying type. Obviously, this team doesn't have that. Um, also, when like the most prevalent scarf uh, Landorus was like around was like 2018, like 2015, like when they had to deal with Zod Y, so they just click Rock Slide and stuff. Um, yeah. What I'm not noticing with this team that's kind of messing me up is I don't see any speed control. I saw Grim and I was like, oh, there's got to be like Thunder Wave Scary Face or something. Or maybe like oh, the flutter may would be booster icy wind, but this is just like, yo, I'm gonna rock slide you, <laughs> and you're gonna yeah, I, you're gonna deal with it. <laughs> well, they have they have like two fast guys in flutter main and Landorus, and they've got the two slower guys with iron hands and Amoongus, and then you know Grimmsnarl is doing its own thing with Goldango there. Like yeah. it's literally set up bulk. You can you can control the speeds and i don't care i'll just do what i want to do yeah this feels like a very fundamentals based balance team you know what i mean yeah yeah you have like it's... you have damage control and i guess that makes sense you have intimidate uh for like the ursa luna matchup um you also have like reflect and like parting shot I, yeah I, I can i can i can mess with it i think that grim snarl is actually look really good in the format I, actually we see a lot of grim snarl um in like the rest of the tournament um, yeah grim snarl actually... is probably one of the guys that I would expect to like grow in usage along with Landorus. Like I think Lander Lander T and Grimstone, like, especially since Lost Format, are just like the best friends now. Yeah. Best and, friends. and it's despite the fact that we have Pokemon that crit every turn. That's like the yeah. cool part about Grimstone. Just it remains uh with high usage. Uh we do see another Don Dozo. This one uh actually swaps out the dark type for a Tornadus, which I agree with, you know, choice specs plus uh focus ash Flutterman. Uh, yeah, that sunny makes sense. As well. Yeah. Like, oh wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That wait. That goes crazy. Sunny day, cause click oh. sunny day, which actually you overheat. Nothing. Is really. Terra ghost. Wait, dude. The only thing that can make this like even more like disgustingly terrifying is if they threw cloak on this over rocky helmet. Yeah. It's like, oh, you're slower than my chi. Sorry. Yeah. Bonk. Don't care. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Yep. Um. Yeah. There's a team that I didn't want to forget to cover. This, the rest of the tournament is fairly standard. There are some cool stuff in like day two. Like this is day two, obviously, but you know, top, yeah. is top 16, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, there are two more teams I want to cover specifically. A couple of Reggie Dragos in day two. That's awesome. Uh, but the first one I want to cover is this Charizard Sun team. This one really stood out to me because it is the uh, first major appearance of Hisui and Lilligant we've seen in the tournament. Um, yeah. And I... I don't know if I would call Hisui and Lilligant necessarily better than, um, you know, what is it called? Unovan Lilligant. But yeah. I do understand the use case for it. You know, having that fighting type coverage. Solar Blade over Leaf Blade is really cool because you can just smack something. You know, it, it's it's Solar Beam, right? But it's physical. Um, yeah. Actually, is it stronger? Uh, psh, beats me. I've never used that move, nor has any. It oh, is. Yeah, stronger by five. It is style. stronger. Wait, okay, that probably matters somewhere. I guess it's it's better into like um Flutterman and stuff. This is like a, a heavy physical attacker format, so yeah, I could understand yeah. that. What what really caught my interest though was the choice scarf terrifier heat wave over heat charizard. Also focus yeah. blast. I don't think they ever clicked that. That's my I don't think they're they're ever gonna click that. Also choice specs on the Torkoal. This is like the I'm gonna click fire moves and you need to deal with it. And also this is the please don't bring heat tran team. Well, yeah, no, that's like that's oh, I suppose that's why Lilligant is yeah, wait, no, that makes sense. it's like it's like hmm I don't click please please don't 
click fire mirrors, I've got a heat a heat tran. Um, yeah. So you can click fire mirrors all you like. Well, I have a lilikant who's going to click terror terrified and close combat into you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I uh, guess I guess that is why pursuing lilikant would be better than regular lilikant in this format because I have seen both. Um, but his suing being able to just counter um, a lot of heat tran is uh pretty good. Also, terrified in close combat, even if they decide to go for um, you know. Even if they decide to go for the Terra Grass, they're gonna have to deal with that and they're not gonna eat it. And your Focus Sash, so they can just do it twice. So yeah, yeah. This team I thought was really cool. The the one thing I did not mess with personally, I think <laughs> that <laughs> Booster There's Energy no on protect. Sun. This is one. Of, oh wait, is there no protect? Is what? There no protect on There's no protect team. on this team, dude. Yeah, I think I saw this team on Twitter. Yeah, I looked at it. I was like, bro, what? Where's the protect? I suppose I, they're click. You don't need to protect when everything's gone. I'm clicking Heat Wave every turn, and yeah. there's nothing you can do. Also, uh, the other thing I didn't mess with was I thought that um, unless this is Speed Booster, I think that um, Pixie Plate would be a good use case here because the sun is always going to be up with this team, you know? Yeah. I, I guess mean... I guess it's good into like rain matchups. You don't lose the speed. Mm. It's, oh, it's like if, if you lead Toko Flutamine and you can do like your damage and like oh they've got a Pelipper I'm gonna sw I'm gonna click Sunny Day just to make sure they don't do that and then click Eruption anyway. Yeah. Um, Dude, it feels so like, wrong. There's one Regieleki in this whole top cut. Or day yeah. Um, Regieleki found dead on it. <laughs> found dead in Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's like the same place that uh they found Kirker. Um, yeah. Uh, what, this is also like the only Lando I am pretty sure. Oh no, there's a couple more. But yeah, uh, Lando I is cool. I want to take a look at the Sneasler Reggie Drago team. This is the one that oh. really got me interested. Um, okay, it is Psychic Seed Dire Claw stuff. Uh, I figured it would have Sword Stance if it was Psychic Seed. We also see no speed control on the team whatsoever, other than Trick Room, right? And Reggie yeah. Drago with Dragon Fang Dragon Energy. I figured that with no speed control, it'd probably be Scarf or something. Hmm. I mean, I, I suppose Urshifu uh, choice. I think choice Scarf Urshifu is probably the like the better user, on, at least, even on this team. But like, yeah, no Reggie Drago. I feel like you probably want to run choice Scarf or something. I guess yeah. It's Dragon. This is like Dragon. the normal Reggie Drago archetype, where it's like. Okay, I have Reggie Drago. I have my Steel type. I have my Speed Control. Also, I have my Double Speed Control. I have Scary Face on it too. Um, yep. Yeah. I mean, I, I wish we saw more Reggie Drago personally. But what's funny is how many Reggie Drago in day two? We have two Reggie Drago. How many Reggie Alecki? One. 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 One, As... One Reggie Alecki. Two Reggie Drago. All peace has been restored. All is good. It's very good. I, I'm a. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Reggie yeah. Lucky can can die for all I care. I don't want that guy to come back. Sorry, buddy, it's holding a sash. Um, so yeah, I mean, like obviously there's some other really interesting teams here, but uh, I just wanted to give a brief overview of like what we saw um in this turn uh day two. But I will say that some of the immediate effects I've already seen on ladder today when I was <coughs> playing at work. Um <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a lot more Ursaluna on ladder. People have figured out, yes, Ursaluna is good. Uh, and it just took a little bit of adjusting in how you play it. This one was bulk up. Mm. That's terrifying. I don't want to look at that anymore. I, I want to be able to sleep tonight. But yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's basically it. Uh, I just want to give my thoughts on the, you know, the day two. I also want to have Brady on here to motivate me to actually say things on camera. So that's he that's was, about he, it. He was up to up to stuff this weekend, as yep. it was his birthday. So. It was my birthday. <laughs> I'm almost at a quarter century old. Uh, that's yeah. sad. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, check out Brady's channel if he ever uploads again. Uh, <laughs> I might. You might. Maybe. Yeah. I might. Dude, I Reg know. D is fun. Play some Reg D. Anyway. I've been pl I've been playing Reg D. Just then like record. Using heinous stuff. Then record. I I yeah, maybe. All right. <laughs> well, thank you All for right. watching, everyone. Have a nice night. Goodbye. Goodbye.